Shockwave right in, the, right in the mouth, though, so taking a fair amount of damage there. Surprised, actually, we haven't seen any really concerted dives on either side. There's so much that could happen, and how about now? Bulldog being melted down by the Sunray after the Icarus dive. Aggressive's right there. Doesn't have any mango. And, yes, will manage to bring him down. So Aggressive draws our first blood, but MMY going to be the return kill as well as uh, the Enchantress able to at least get something going, but Aggressive being the core, picking that kill up, big win there for LGD. Well, he doesn't have the mango anymore, popped it to get the kill, but just looking to push pretty early. Yeah, like, uh, maybe still lacking the blink, still quite a ways away, still does have Sticky Napalm two points into it, and this might be enough for, to try to call some kind of, that was going to be a doom on the S4, and the Sunray is there, Lorda engages on MMY, however, using the Shadow Dance to try to extricate himself now as LGD rotated in the entire team, and Lorda's going to be in trouble, he's been spotted, they know where he is, and they're going to chase him down, able to leap away, and Dark packed out. Actually, maybe a bit slow to build, it, uh, has gone for the full magic wand, the bottle, and the boots, but eventually he's going to have it, and you've got a beer TPL, so the whole team can really, there's a lasso, S4 the target once again, unable to get away, that's twice he's died in a span of just a couple of minutes, and LGD just pouring it on, poor S4, and that, by, without a doubt, is the mech, yeah, the red uh, lane as well, Bulldog on the move, he is going to fight MMY here. Try to head onto the roar, but maybe forced to use it with Lorda sweeping around looking for the bounce MMY gets sandwiched and will be finished off. Alliance able to get to get more initiation off. They're going for a move on EGM. He's not level six. Sunray comes through. Oh, wow. wow! What a beautiful tether back! That was wow worthy. Looks like he's gonna make it out. Like, I mean, wow on two counts. One, the fact that he made it out, and that was as aggressive a death ward as I've ever seen to kill a level five iron. There's gonna be aggressive. Top lane, the roar into the stop. He's already used the doppelganger. And aggressive is gonna go down, but Egg gets committed after the sunray of the spirits. Bulldog dropping low. Is this gonna be a support on a core kill? Tries to put a TP out. He's out of the range of the stun. And he will escape. We'll continue to do that from 15 to 25 minutes in, and they've got the tools, it's just a matter of if they've got the execution. I definitely think they do, because they have that, the tool that we just mentioned, which is the Blink Dagger, the oh, oh, there's the Quapple. Big kill as the Doom is dropped before he can even Doom. Aggressive has hung out the dry currently as well. The relocate, like you said, making its debut. Aggressive's going to end up dying in the woods. In the meantime, Bat does manage to get a return kill, bringing down S4. But now the chase is on as Bulldog was giving look or giving chase to September. Maybe he's right there. And Bulldog might be in a little bit of trouble if he's not real careful. Maybe he's going to come back down to Earth in a very precarious situation. Hot LZ for you. Not on yet. There's an impact. Uh, and it looks like they're going to try for one now, as they have smoked up with maybe. As the Blink Dagger, and is looking for S4, who's blinked down into the Oh, that's <laughs> Didn't even have to drop the lasso for that. Tell you what, in the 550 gold out, but he smoked oh, up. This is not going to be an easy fight. They need that clean pick, because everything is online for LGD. Wow. That's very aggressive. They're going to go ahead and try to bring in with the relocate. Let's see if they've got the damage. Sonic Wave's going to catch three. Well placed by S4. EGM does end up dropping. And the, the uh, Sunray doing a good job. But there's going to be the egg. That's going to chase back what remains of Alliance. Ake returning to his team. But now with most of the ulti spent, going to be a tough road to if they want to try to fight it out. EGM actually brought back to try to re-engage and see if they'll pay off. Aggressive. Started off by Loda eating a lot of damage. Now the Sunray doing what it can to keep him alive. Loda might end up dropping to a no, able to pounce himself to safety. And now the Phoenix, the next target, September. Icarus dives away. Damage got him just at the last second. An alliance with the buyback. A Beastmaster type here in the off lane. They, they have Batrider who, while he's great at de-warding and, and map control in some sense, he doesn't easily scout out ganks uh, unless you get the Very work. devious smoke. They're coming right up the gut. They're going to grab Shao in and roll him down. He's brought down immediately. Sonic Wave is there as well. They're going to get September for free. That cost him an area. Yeah. Oh, aggressive. Just utterly burst down. And this game has officially hit critical mass if you're an Alliance fan. That was not even remotely contested. And yes, it's a gank. But just watching the heroes melt, realizing just how much damage Alliance has to bring to bear and how good their initiation happens to be, it's hard to imagine unless the PL is just able to farm up something like a Manta and maybe another big item on top of that. <laughs> You're talking about farming a Manta? Alliance are thinking, we're ending this game before he even gets a play. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, hey, Dickett is uh, his band of Elvis skin, though, so. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> Manta coming any second now, I'm sure. <laughs> the, the last so on the Bulldog. And uh, he's going to end up dropping here, but Alliance is not going to... Oh, well, they're actually going to back and leave the Rain Tracks. Preemptively to play it safe. 
And let's see how committed to this alliance is going to be. They have about a minute and a half on the so good amount of time, and they have seen Shao 8. Shao 8? Is AKB still in his in? He's still back in the stash? Uh, he's, he's still waiting for the Mithril Hammer, but he's only a hundred gold short. Yeah. So he's going to have it any second now. Oh, no. Shao 8 again! Here we go. Shao 8, brought down Loda. Going with the Shadow Dance and we'll chase him deep. There's going to be MMY using that Death Ward. It's going to be enough to clone the Aegis. He has zoned them off. S4 there, ready to hit his huge Sonic Wave. Will be doomed and brought down quickly. Now Loda trying to make a run for it. Lincoln's helps him out a little bit. But he's slowed and he's going to be melted. Alliance diving way too gold. But mostly just stopping the what seemed to be the meteoric rise of of uh, the gold in favor of the Lions. Just getting that to cease was a win in itself. Looks like they want to try to engage. Zhao 8 doesn't have Doom available for 20 seconds. And then Y does have Death Pack. Uh, uh, excuse me, Death War. Not that it matters as he's going to be ruined. Meanwhile, EGM on point coming. And if so, what can LG do, LGD do to accelerate its arrival? I mean, the one thing they have is the Queen of Pain. So you can potentially fall. They found S4 in the trees. And he's gone. No, that's a be a guaranteed kill at least on EGM and yeah, they'll EGM. take it oh well is the line setting up here they break forward they want to try and counter this are they bringing back the slug he's got the BKB no there we go EGM they have second thoughts able to tether it out like you said Alliance not over committing to this EGM actually eating a fair amount of damage they're going to be able to bring down one that's going to be the Phoenix now they're going to get the roar off that's going to be on the MMY four staff gets him safe just for a little while now maybe trying to lay a, a trail of fire both on way over committing there burning himself down and eating the Death Ward. S4 actually got doomed in the midst of all of that. He's going to be cleaned up. It's 3 for 3, an absolute slugfest on both sides. An aggressive, able to catch up with Ake. There's the defuse. Nature's attendance not going to be enough as they're going to chase him down and clean him up. Huge win for LGD. That's a godlike streak on Ake. Now he has been collecting a lot of last hits. That's a ton of gold for the side of LGD. And Moda looking to turn this one around. 2v1, but Slark is king right now. I don't think that they can win a man fight against him. Well, playmate though, he Oh! He, Loda got defused as well as man is down to nil. It's maybe an aggressive, just chopping wood. Are they going to be able to make the little fish man sushi? Let's we see. Okay, there we go. Medical assistance is coming. It's beginning to become reality, where it's aggressive is a problem. He's now upgraded his defusal, now has a heart. Single oh, targets on enough. There's going to be the last one to grab S4. Here comes Loda back into the fight. Let's see if they got the job done. That's three BKBs going off all at once. LGD now going to give pursuits. Still haven't brought anyone that S4 was able to escape. And now Alliance of a... Nope, doesn't look like... Relocate's really coming turns. back. Good save there on a doomed S4. And now they look for the turnaround. The combo's been blown a bit. And Alliance are rushing forward. September able to Icarus dive away using the summon to melt things down. And Alliance is actually being forced back. Aggressive is down to about half health. There's going to be the four staff out of the world. Oh, the Sonic Wave just missed, but it didn't matter. As S4 is there with the blink ahead to clean up the kill on the Phantom Lancer. Two and nil. How deep does Alliance want to go here? Loda looking for the Doom. Not going to be able to find him. And now just going straight on to the Tier 3. Oh, man. Those clutch relocate saves. It was talked about in the pregame discussion and the draft. And we have seen them come up huge. EGM fading out big spells. Under the, under the Queen of Pain and then turning the fight now, shall we? Getting caught, that's one. Loda looking for more. He's got the ultimate. We'll use it to back away, but they can siege this. There is no doom for a minute. The last is down for 50, and Alliance oh, mid over right now. Otherwise, uh, it might take a little longer, but here we go. Pressy Finn D. Leave wherever you are, as you paint quite a picture, my friend. There's going to be the roar on the maybe, the follow up is there, she just deployed. BKBs go off on both sides, Death Ward's going to be off from him, and why? Good damage being done, Sonic Wave's going to be there. September does manage to get the egg off right before he drops. Xiao Wei said scurrying for the fountain, he'll make it back just in time to watch his teammates die. As there is a buyback immediately off of EGM, he's happy to rejoin the fight. S4 is a little bit low, but aggressive, doing what he can, but what he can just ain't enough. They're holding, but the creeps are killing off tier 4s. There's still objectives being claimed by Alliance here, and now GD, they recognize it. A noble effort, but they just didn't have the guns to come back from this kind of deficit. Going to a game 3, my friend, Alliance, able to bounce back after a tough game 1. And force do like to prioritize heroes like the uh, the Chen Tarake, like the Prophet or the Druid for...